Welcome back to the Mad Dog Farm. A bit of something different today, on the shooting theme that is. You might see in front of you a chronograph. Uh, I've been wanting one of these for a long time, I was going to order one. Uh, this has been sent out by TL Gun Shop here in France. I'll put the link down in the description below. Um, when they said it was coming, it turned up pretty quick. So, very, very good service. It comes shipped in a box. So you've got the, the chronograph, you've got some <laughs> vague instructions, and you've got a little Allen key, Allen wrench, depending on what country you're in. Um, the Allen wrench does these four screws. You can take that cover off. Two AA batteries in there. Pop the cover back on. So that's your uh, Allen wrench. Um, all metal. Full metal construction. The This cover is plastic. Uh, it's got some nice feet on the bottom. Tripod screw. Uh, a little socket at the front if you want external power. And on the back you've got like the old fashioned style VGA socket. I think that's what they call it. I don't, don't remember what they're called. On and off switch. Now I think this might be a newer version because it's got slightly different buttons on the front. On the older ones the, the buttons are stick out. These ones are flush. But um, from reviews that I've seen on YouTube, these are pretty good. Uh, the instructions are quite vague, but once you add a bit of a play with it, um, it's it's quite straightforward. Uh, it tells you what you can and can't do, and then it gives you this. <laughs> a bit of a flow chart, which on first glance you look at it you think, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> So I'll just run through a couple of things um, on this, how to set it up. Uh, it works in Imperial and Metric. We're in a Metric country. Uh, a lot of my viewers are in Metric countries, uh, but it will switch over to Imperial. I was having a bit of a head scratching moment because it says that on the website, it says the bullet weight is measured in grains. Now grains and grams are two different measurements. Grains is imperial, grams are metric. Once I've got that into my head, which was pointed out by the Hobbit, <laughs> because I kept going into the pellet setting uh, and it just said G, which is the universal symbol for grams. All the ones I was watching on YouTube said GR, and I thought, that's grains. Of course. You switch it from imperial to metric and back vice versa, the pellet weight changes. So in imperial, the pellet weight is in grains. In metric, the pellet weight is in grams. So that's quite straightforward. Um, so we'll have a quick look over it and uh, then we'll take it outside and shoot through it. So we'll have a quick look at some of the easy to change functions. Um, so we'll switch it on. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it's got a backlight on it. So if you don't want the backlight, switch it off, press and hold S1, switch it on, and the backlight goes off. Let go of S1, switch it off, switch it back on, and there you go. Uh, the backlight is not on anymore. I'll switch the backlight back on. So every time you switch it on now, backlight's on. Right, so we're in metric at the moment, so that's uh, the power will be in joules and the velocity is in meters per second. So if you want it onto uh, Imperial, what you do, switch it off, hold down S2 and S3, switch it on, and that says Imperial. Let go of those two and then switch it off, switch it back on, and now we've got energy, foot-pounds, and feet per second. There are other settings you can go into for calibration and all that kind of thing, I'm not gonna get into that. Now, if you, I'm gonna switch it back to metric, so S1, S2 and S3, switch that on, that now says metric. So, let off, switch it off again, back on 
and there we go, we're back in joules and meters per second. Now the other setting you can do, if you're gonna be shooting firearms through it, air weapons, air pistols, and all that kind of thing, wants to be on high gain. Firearms wants to be on low gain. We're gonna switch that off, hold down S1 and S2, switch it back on, that says low. So let go of those and then switch it off and back on, low, and then into joules. Um, that's if you if it's firearms and that kind of thing, but we're not gonna want it on that, so we'll switch it back. S1, S2, switch it on, that says high, let go, switch it off, switch it back on, and we're back to normal. Now, as I might have mentioned before or after, press the S, this is the, the main screen, so you've got, um, joules and meters per second. So if we press S1, this is pellet weight. And you can go up and down with your pellet weights with S2 and S3, respectively. Now that's in grams. So the metric side of it, pellet weight goes in in grams. If you swap it to Imperial, pellet weight is in grains. So there is a big difference between grains and grams. Um, so as long as you've got that sorted, you'll be fine. Um, so that's that, and then just press your pellet weight again, and that's it, it's all set, and that'll, that'll remember that setting for any other time. You know, if you're shooting the same pellet next time, um, or you just adjust it, S1, and then that's ready to shoot. Right, so we can scroll through some settings. So first one, because <laughs> I put my fat hand through there, it just comes up. So you've got the shot count, and your um, power factor. Uh, so we'll press that again. EAVG is your energy average in joules. Velocity average. Velocity minimum. Velocity maximum. Deviation. SV, what's SV? Don't know. Then this function, you can have rapid fire, so uh, rounds per second, uh, I don't know what NR is, but you can change that to rounds per minute as well, so we can have rounds per second, rounds per minute. That'll be useful, because I've got a fully automatic BB gun, so I can test that. Um, I think that was the last setting. Yeah, so the last setting is rapid fire. Um, and that's pretty much it. Press the S3, takes you back to the main screen. You can go through it a little bit more in detail and change certain settings, um, but for my use, I'm not really gonna use that. Uh, now there is, say, this port on the back. You can get a, a lead which is like a, a VGA type lead um, to USB. That'll plug into a Windows-based computer and you can record shot strings and all that kind of thing and see what sort of thing you're getting. So it has got a, a tripod mount on the bottom, which I shall probably use quite often. If you're going to be using um, a rifle with a scope, you can actually lay it on its side and shoot through, which is quite a good function, because um, obviously that way up, your, your scope, you could be looking straight through this. So turn it on its side and shoot through it that way. And that's pretty much the bones of it. Um, it's a good, well-built piece of kit. Uh, they're made in Poland, um, so it is sturdy. It will take a bit of a beating, but I tend to look after my stuff, so I'm not too worried about that side of things. But it is quite robust. So we'll uh, we'll take it outside and um, do a bit of shooting. We'll go with the Glock first. This is supposed to be 1.7 joules. The 
Sig Sauer, 2.8 joules this one apparently. So it's non-blowback, so it might be closer to it. Are we in, uh, let's put it in single shot. Right, I'm now going to put it into the rapid fire mode. Rounds per minute. So let's put it into fully auto. Oh, and we're empty. So that's number of rounds, that's 33 rounds and it averaging 231 rounds per minute. So that was the uh, LMBR R2A. Um, the R2H is for, uh, you know, it covers archery and all that kind of thing. Um, you can fire powder guns through the, you know, proper firearms for it. They do a little paper target that you can stick on. I might have that here. Yeah, you can uh, cut that out, stick it on the front, aim for the, the circle. Um, when you do use this for firearms, you have to change the gain setting, which is in the instructions how to do that. It's quite simple. Um, I did show you, uh, you know, previously how to go through all the settings on it and what does what. So, um, yeah, fantastic bit of kit. Thanks to TL Gun Shop. Um, I'll say their links down in the description. Really good service. Turned up really quick. Uh, can't really say any more than that. I'm going to have a few videos now where I've got some other guns that I want to test and we're, <coughs> we're going to modify. Um, be careful when you modifying air guns and all that kind of thing. Make sure you stay within the laws of your country. Uh, I have put some videos out where I've done some modifications on a... a uh, CO2 powered revolver. I'm getting a lot of comments saying, oh, you know, it's this and it's that, we're not allowed that. I did put at the start of the video a disclaimer saying only modify or do certain things if it's legal to do so in your country. Here in France, we're allowed up to 20 joules, whether that's an air rifle or a CO2 powered handgun. Um, if the projectiles are powered by themselves, as in bullets, uh, that then becomes firearms and different categories. But everything that we've got at the moment is category D, 20 joules or less, and we're well within the law. So having one of these is gonna keep you within the law. So if you're doing, doing any modifications to air, air, air weapons, you know, CO2 powered weapons, you can check the, the power output and make sure you're within the law. It's as easy as that. So and a fantastic bit of kit. It's gonna get a lot of use. Uh, can't say any more than that. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, come back for some more of these sort of videos. Bye for now.